Hey everyone, today Norwegian Bliss here in Juneau, Alaska and we have some amazing things to do, some excursions we're gonna do. Yes, we're gonna do whale watching and Mendenhall Glacier. Yes, we're supposed to do also the Juneau Tram, but it's down to May 4th, so that's not gonna happen unfortunately. It was something that we were looking forward to do. Yeah, but it gives us a reason to come back. Yes, and definitely we're gonna find out something like even more amazing to do today because the ship stays here until 10.30 at night, so we have plenty of time to enjoy this. We're ever considering an Alaskan a vacation cruise definitely book it i re highly recommend it oh the sun's coming out Fire. oh what can this we is alaska We are today in Juno. Out of the Norwegian place here in Juno. Let's find our excursion station. And I felt like I was in an amazing race looking for the check-in of this excursion because we did book independently and we had to uh, find a way all the way here at the tram, the gold belt tram from our ship, so it was a kind of an adventure, last minute adventure <laughs> to catch in time. <laughs> yeah, so we're leaving here around three o'clock and then we, uh, we're gonna get dropped off at uh, Mendenhall Glacier uh, and walk around. And then we have to be back at the bus by 4.20 to be able to get on the ship to take and us to out to uh, see the whales. And we cannot wait. That's gonna be an epic, epic trip. Coming up. Yes. They're taking pictures of. Ta -da. That's a Manda Hall glacier over there. This place is breathtaking. 
Let's explore. Here we are everyone, Mendenhall Glacier, right over there, and waterfall, oh my god, this place, just wow. There's some pieces of ice there floating around. Here's the visitor center of the Manaho Glacier. Really? Just to do all that? They gotta go through this? They have a beautiful panoramic view from here as well. And here's a close view of the glacier.
just got some uh, magnets here at the gift shop at the visitor center and now we're heading back to the bus to go for the second part of our excursion and look where the helicopters go on their excursion up on a glacier we are heading to the whale watching part of the excursion and it seems like the bus had babies <laughs> not a bus packed <laughs> i guess the way is going to be a surprise because i cannot film anything it's all sweat out here on the other side of Juno at this dock for the whale watching I'm so excited let's do it we really thought it was gonna be like 10 people with us because the bus that we went to the, to the first part of the excursion it was just like few people and there's a whole bunch of them <laughs> With that, we have life jackets under every seat. We do have child life jackets in the back. Um, there's no smoking on this vessel, including e-cigarettes. If you do see smoke, get a crew member's attention or grab a fire extinguisher. There's one on the port side, on the back behind the seats, and there's one inside the closet. Um, there's also one up top in the wheelhouse of the captain. Um, in case of an emergency, we would need someone to go upstairs and radio for the Coast Guard. Um, if something were to happen to all three crew members, and uh, we do have life rafts upstairs um, as well. With that being said, that's all the ones for the Coast Guard, but we do have some rules of our own. First, when you came in, there's a lip. There's lips on all the doors, so just be careful. We don't want anyone falling from the Russian sea whales. Um, there's no jumping, running, or climbing on board. And uh, our biggest rule, and the only rule that we really ask you to follow, is we do have a bathroom on board, but it gets clogged really easily. So don't flush any trash, toys, toilet paper. There's a trash can in there for all of that. Um, and if you clog it, you have to unclog it. Because I'm not going <laughs> to unclog it. <laughs> I'm also passing out your snacks, so you don't want me to unclog it. Um, with that, that's the end of all of our rules. But does anyone know what kind of whales we have here? Humpbacks. Humpbacks? Killer whales. Killer whales, good job. So yeah, so we have killer whales, or orcas, um, and those are really hard to find. They are nomads, so they're constantly traveling with their food. Um, if we do happen to see them, it's a really awesome sight, and I will tell you everything I know about them at that time. But I promise you, we will see humpbacks. And so the humpbacks that we get here are also part of the Hawaii population. So at the end of, I wanna say March or early April is when they head down to Juneau, or in the Alaska region. Um, and then about the end of September is when they head back to Hawaii. It's about a thousand mile journey. It takes anywhere from three to six weeks, I believe. Um, and so what they're doing in Hawaii is they're breeding and they're giving birth. So the moms that give birth in Hawaii give birth to one ton babies, which is the size of about a small dump truck. And then those babies grow at about a hundred pounds a day, drinking a hundred gallons of milk a day. Um, and when they're in Hawaii, they don't eat. Um, there's no food source for them. So when they come back, that's what they're doing here. They're eating. And they done these small fish called herring. They're anywhere from about eight to 10 inches. And they, um, it's about the biggest thing they can eat because a humpback's, sorry, a humpback's throat is the size of a small dinner plate. So they can't swallow humans, cars, adult salmon, anything like that. Um, and so when, when we see them, what we're gonna be seeing is we're gonna be seeing them breathe. And so when they breathe, they shoot up spouts of water or mist, and those go about 30 feet in the air. And um, when you see them, make sure you shout it out because there's only three of us and there's 49 of you guys. So we use the clock system. So we have 12, three, six, and nine. I can't tell time. So when I shout it out, don't listen to me. Um, other than that, do you guys have any questions? I was born and raised here. It doesn't have to be about whales. Yeah. Uh, are we gonna go, or are, can we go upstairs or um Yes, you can go upstairs. I believe it's about 23 max, like per person. Um, but at the moment when we're underway, we 
ask everybody to stay in the cabin just for safety reasons. Um, but yeah, you can go up here and we'll open the back door if you guys want to go upstairs when we're on the whales. Yeah, what other type of whales could we see? We only have, it's just orcas and humpbacks, but we could see um, dolls porpoise, which are kind of dolphin-like um, animals, and they actually look like mini orcas because they're black and white. And then we have harbor porpoise, which kind of looks like a mini miniature dolphin. It's just a small gray uh, porpoise. Those are a little harder to see. If we do see porpoises, it's most likely going to be a doll's porpoise, which actually they are, I believe, the fastest uh, cetacean at, I want to say, 35 miles per hour. I could be wrong about that. Don't quote me on it, though. Um, we also could see uh, stellar sea lions. Those are actually the largest sea lions in the world. They are twice the size of the coastal brown bear. Um, I think they're about 2,000 pounds for males and 700 pounds for females. Um, we can see harbor seals. Um, those are mostly stay in the harbor. I think we, there was one that jumped up a little bit when we were walking down the gangway. Um, there's lots of birds. I'm not going to identify. They provide some snacks and water here during the tour. And now we are heading to see some whales. doesn't show tail much, but every once in a while. How far do you think she's now? Uh, I'd say like 170, 180. So that's... the bay
really going to get in front of us. Come on, man. We pay good money for this. We need to see a jump. Yeah. <laughs> Send it a signal to jump, please. Nobody will ever believe us, though. That's the problem. Google it up and You could have told us that and we would have had our phones out. <laughs>
Okay, we're leaving, well. <laughs> coming out uh, especially after these past three years is literally keeping us afloat so we owe you a big thank you we love what we do out here and you guys coming out allows us to do that so i hope you guys have safe travels home and that good luck carries on with you being able to watch sasha breach there that's our first breach of the season as well um, so the way noah reports it about one percent of the u.s population seen a whale in the wild but when it comes to seeing that kind of surface behavior especially in a feeding ground that statistic drops down about one three thousandth of one percent so uh, it's a cool thing to tuck under your belt if there's machines on the ship it would be a good day to plant here <laughs> <laughs> other than that guys we'll be on the dock here shortly it's about a 25 minute trip back downtown um, and like brecken said we really do live on uh, those trip advisor views if you guys have five minutes to jump on there and give us a shout out it means all that means the world to us so yeah. other than that guys talk to you soon we'll be on the dock shortly Oh my god <laughs> what a trip yes it was awesome like we didn't see many it was too up close but what we saw a bunch of them we did see a breach yes and everybody put their camera away before <laughs> unbelievable right when it happens nobody <laughs> recorded it <laughs> so, but it was amazing we're getting ready to take a bus ride back to the cruise ship yes and it was totally worth it so yes it was All yes right. now back to the port <laughs> <laughs> Excursions done uh, successfully. The glacier and the whale watching, and now we're here uh, exploring a little bit these stores before heading to the ship because we still have three hours. And this is the Euro Dam, Holland America. And our ship is way back there. Rob is enjoying the cool weather. <laughs> Take a look at these stores now. 280, the price of these stores is here. 150 and up. The smaller ones. But they're awesome, like beautiful. Some of them have the signature of that guy that is famous for their his totems. <laughs> Get these plants. And this is the gold belt tram that unfortunately was closed. We didn't get a chance to go all the way up this mountain. Uh, did just a little exploring here. Uh, this part of this uh, at this part of the town looking at the shops and now we're heading back to the ship hey everyone i hope you enjoyed this day here and exploring with us you know alaska it was amazing and uh what do you think about the glacier the glacier was just remarkable yes um 
Wish it could get closer, but we didn't have enough time I because we had the, the way watching. And I hope the videos uh, do it justice. Yes. You really need to come here. There's yourself. a waterfall and everything that we didn't have enough time oh. to do it, but like, yeah, it was beautiful. The, the weather is raining right now, but it, it's nice and cool. It's in the 40s or it feels like 30s actually, and the wind's yeah. blowing. And it doesn't bother at all, the rain, like you can just explore if, if it's all. like this drizzle. So we found out that we were on the, um, when we did the whale watching tour, that we were the very first uh, on this with this captain, we were um, the first packed boat. Oh yes, he said like, "Oh my God, this is the first packed boat yeah. since like pandemic." And he the was first excited breach, for that. We had a whale. Breach. The first whale like jumping out of the water, like it was amazing. Of course, everybody had their phones put away. <laughs> it, 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 it was epic <laughs> to see it, and it was very close to the boat. So yes. Um, anyway, we're getting. Uh, back on the ship we hope you've enjoyed our content so far we hope you've enjoyed our content so far and keep watching for more right yes here. Guga and Rob if you like this video don't forget to leave your like share and share leave us a comment and suggestions uh, we'd love to hear your comments and uh, subscribe subscribe we need you to subscribe and turn your notification bell to all yes and you can do that from your phone or from a computer yes See you soon, Jono. Hopefully, I get back here. I loved it. Heading back to the ship now. It's raining a little stronger and it's blowing this freezing wind. But to next time. Once we're back inside the ship, here we have got some hot chocolate. Cheers. <laughs> and it's hot. Yay! Yes, and oh my god, an elevator ready for us. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey.